In Asahi Metal Industry Company v. Superior Court, plaintiff Gary Zercher brought a product liability suit after he was injured in a motorcycle crash caused by a tire blowout. Zercher originally sued the manufacturer of the defective tire, Cheng Shin Rubber Industrial Company, in California State Court. Cheng Shin sought indemnification from its Japanese supplier, Asahi Metal Industry Company. Asahi was a third-party defendant in the case, and Cheng Shin had purchased the valve assemblies from Asahi used in the problem tires. All other claims, including Zercher's, settled out of court, leaving only Asahi and Cheng Shin in the action. Asahi fought Cheng Shin's attempt to bring Asahi into the lawsuit by arguing that California lacked jurisdiction under the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. Asahi argued that the California State Court's exercise of personal jurisdiction was improper. Asahi operated in Japan, where it sold more than 100,000 assemblies to Cheng Shin annually. In turn, Cheng Shin incorporated the assemblies into its tires and sold them worldwide. Approximately 20% of Cheng Shin's sales were to California residents, and Cheng Shin alleged it had told Asahi about its tire sales to the United States. Still, Asahi never contemplated that third-party transactions would subject it to lawsuits in California. The California State Trial Court held that jurisdiction over Asahi was proper because it was not unreasonable to hold an international business accountable in the markets where it does business. Asahi appealed, and the appellate court found for Asahi. The California Supreme Court reversed, and the United States Supreme Court granted certiorari. Despite the unanimous vote, the court's view of the issue was fragmented. Justice O'Connor, writing for the majority, found that California's exercise of jurisdiction was improper and violated Asahi's due process rights because doing so offended traditional notions of fair play and substantial justice. Justice O'Connor held that in order to meet the due process requirement and establish sufficient minimum contacts, more purposeful actions directed toward a forum state were required the mere placement of a product in the stream of commerce would not suffice. Here, Asahi had not made any efforts to cater to the California market, nor had it engaged in advertising or communications with California consumers, nor had Asahi contracted with any third parties to sell its products in California. In determining reasonableness, Justice O'Connor considered the following factors. One, the defendant's burden. 2. The forum state's interest. 3. The plaintiff's interest. 4. The judicial system's interest in the efficient resolution of controversies. And 5. The furtherance of fundamental substantive social policies. Under the circumstances, Justice O'Connor found that California's exercise of jurisdiction was unreasonable. Justice Stevens authored a concurring opinion in which he found that the inquiry should have ended when the court determined that exercising jurisdiction would have been unreasonable. In his view, no further test of purposeful direction of actions or minimum contacts was required. Justice Brennan also wrote a concurring opinion and agreed that a finding of jurisdiction over Asahi would have offended fair play and substantial justice. However, Justice Brennan found that any party who knows that its product is being marketed or sold in a particular forum should be aware of the possibility of being sued there. The risk of being sued and the potential reward of profits to be made in the venue, he argued, go hand in hand. If you found this video helpful, you can explore all of our content by visiting us at Quimby.com. If you have a question or comment about this case, please post it in the comments area below and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you think we did a good job with this video, please like, share, and favorite it. And if you think this video might be helpful to people you know, Please share on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well, to get this video out there. If you haven't done so already and you enjoy watching videos on this channel, click on the red subscribe button just below this video so you can get all the latest updates.